Hey guys, welcome to day 15 of Vlogist. We are halfway through. Like, wow. <laughs> this has gone so, so quick. I didn't realize we were actually halfway through Vlogist until I watched Isela's Crafting Life this morning and she brought it up and I was like, wow, this is going quick. So doing something a little bit different for my Vlogist today. It's hot. <laughs> it is so, so hot. And it's not gonna cool for a few days. We're back to those triple digits and I'm just melting. So I normally try to turn off the AC so and the fans because I have two fans and the AC going to keep it cool for me and the cats and all the pets. But yeah, it, it's, it's hot. So I'm gonna leave those on. I don't know if the sound is gonna be decent or not, but we will see. Um, so I apologize if the sound is crazy with all the fans and the AC going, but yeah, it's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to just do a check-in with you guys and show you my current progress on projects, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I, I didn't have anything to show. So I thought, okay, since I don't have anything to show, why don't I just chat with you guys? And we can work on my Critter's Crochet Scrap Gan. Now, it is supposed to be a scrap gan. It's supposed to be using scraps of yarn, but I decided that for mine, I actually wanted to use solid yarn and make each one a thick block so I could really see the stitch and get a lot of practice doing it. I, haven't, I got behind. So I, the new stitch came out this morning. I haven't watched it yet because I was telling myself I need to finish and get caught up first before I can watch it. And I have about, I need to do about, I guess half, uh, I'm only halfway done with this stitch from week four. So yeah, so I just thought I would come on with you guys, chat with you guys and see how much I can get caught up on. Okay, I'm trying to get back to, back into the rhythm of doing the stitch. <laughs> I worked on this a little bit yesterday, but I didn't get that much done. It's just this heat. I complain about it every day, I know, and I'm sorry, but it's so hot. <laughs> I used to love the summers, like I used to love the heat, but I don't know. I don't know if it's me changing or is this weather just actually getting hotter because it's too much. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this much heat. So I hope everyone is doing great and having a great Tuesday. I have a delicious cup of unsweetened black tea with some lime and a whole peach chopped up in here. So, so good. So, so refreshing. I love tea and coffee. You know, I think I, I don't know. I want to say like, I prefer like really delicious drinks more than a good meal almost. But I don't know, a good meal, that's good too. <laughs> and you know, speaking of food, something I was thinking of, oops, wait, wait, already messed up. I forgot I was doing the same, it's a two row repeat. So I have to get myself back to where I'm doing just two single crochet in each of my chain spaces. Yeah, all right, make sure I'm good. My sides are a little bit wonky on this. I think I'm gonna end up just putting a border on it. I don't know what color border. I might just use like one of these colors or both of these, or I don't know, I could bring in like a cream, but I don't know, I feel like if I bring in a different color, that's gonna look kind of awkward. And I don't know what kind of border to use either. So if you have any ideas, I have a long way before this is going to be done. But if you do have any ideas along the way of a border that you see that you think might look perfect for this, let me know. Because I need a few ideas for that. So my idea when we were talking about food. So I am so ready for it to cool down. And I was thinking something that would be so much fun would be to do a live stream and have a barbecue. Like, would that not be fun? And I think because I've just been watching a lot of camping videos, 
I don't know like what it is about the camping videos, but our favorites are AB Camping. Oh my gosh, he does these like really, really long camping videos that are like three, four hours long. The cats love them. I don't know if it's just like all the colors of being out in nature that, that they're drawn to, but they love it. And it's actually kind of funny. They are the ones who found this channel. I didn't know anything about it. I had my iPad down for them to, you know, they were just watching something else on YouTube and someone started messing with it with their paw and somehow got it on AB camping. And yeah, so ever since then, it's kind of been our kind of our nighttime thing. I leave it on at night so the cats can watch and we watch it together. But one of the things that he does, he camps with his dog, Bruce, his name is Tony, and he camps with Bruce. And now he camps with his other, his, uh, his new dog, Bruno. And he always cooks something. And usually it's like burgers and I don't eat meat, but I love veggie burgers and I love barbecued food. Like anything that's like cooked over a charcoal, that is so delicious to me. I love like a charcoal cooked veggie burger. So I was thinking like once it cools off and we actually have a chilly day, like California, Southern California chili. So like if I'm lucky, like 60 degrees, <laughs> like it'd be so fun to go out, get a little barbecue going and just live stream, cook some burgers out there and we can hang out, have burgers, <laughs> crochet out there and just, I don't know, have a little outdoorsy thing. It just looks so fun. <laughs> I guess just watching all these camping videos, I would love to go camping, but I just don't know anything about it. And I'm just a little bit like kind of hesitant to just like head up to the mountains, not knowing what I'm doing alone. So I don't know, maybe if I could like find someone who would be interested in camping, that'd be fun to do. But until then, you know, let's, I could have like a little barbecue in the yard. And I say that like, I know what I'm doing when it comes to barbecue. I've actually never barbecued on my own before <laughs> like I've watched my family barbecue but I've never like gone out there put the charcoal did all the lighting and that stuff so yeah don't know how it would actually go but I think it'd be a fun experience and you know the thing about veggie burgers like you can't really mess those up it's not like meat where you have to like cook it to a certain temperature it's like it's a veggie burger it's, it's fine <laughs> You know, and just, I don't know, that just looks so fun. And I actually bought veggie burgers today. I went to the market earlier today. I get up so early. So I like to go to the market like super early in the morning, <laughs> you know, right when it opens. Because <laughs> I don't like dealing with crowds when I'm shopping. I don't like that. I don't like having to get around people's carts. I, I, I just want to go into the store, grab my items, and get out like I don't want to deal with a crowd so I prefer to go super super early in the morning before anyone else has a chance to get up so that's what I did this morning um, I went to the market and I went today because the sale is changing I, I really kind of buy things based on what's on sale and they had water bottles like a pack of 40 waters and they were only $3.99 if you use your digital coupon and then the in-store coupon, you could get, you know, 40 bottles of water for $3.99. And I'm like, perfect price. So I usually do filter my own water, but I do like the water bottles. Um, I know they're not great for the environment. And I, you know, I try to, I do recycle them, but you know, it's just, it is convenient to have. And when they're on sale and I can get 40 of them for $3.99, that's when I pick up my water bottles. And then the rest of the time I just filter my own water. So yeah, so I went there since this was the last day that they would be on sale. So I wanted to pick up some water. And while I was there, I also picked up a pack of veggie burgers. And I think that's just going back to watching the AB camping and watching him cook his burgers. It just had me in the mood for a veggie burger. So yeah, that's probably gonna be my dinner. Um, I didn't actually buy hamburger buns because I don't really buy like hamburger or hot dog buns. I tend to just use my bread. So I have a loaf of sourdough bread because I, 
you know, it's just going to be me eating them. So if I buy like a whole pack of like hot dog buns or hamburger buns, they're not going to last. Like I'm going to eat like one, two of them and then it's like the rest get wasted. So I just prefer to buy like, you know, just a loaf of like sourdough bread and just toast it and use that instead. I, I think it tastes so good anyways. I, I prefer it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have that. I'm kind of thinking if I want to make fries too. It's just, it's so hot that sometimes like, ugh, like cooking, eating when it's this hot is like, ugh, I don't know, but we'll see. I was just craving a burger so bad today. So I was like, yeah, got to do that. And then I also picked up two zero sugar Powerades. Again, just, it's so hot. So like putting a Powerade in the freezer, ugh, so refreshing. So something I'm doing different for this project, I'm actually pulling my yarn from the outside. And I usually never do this, but I feel like these Karen one pounds get so tangled. Like, yes. So I thought I would try, you know, just pulling it from the outside. And it's nice not having the tangles. It is kind of frustrating that I have to like stop every, you know, every once in a while to like get more yarn out. I do wish I had one of those, I don't, I don't know what they're called, I want to say maybe Wool Genie, the magnetic thing, I know Kayla has one, she has two of them, <laughs> and you like put your yarn on it, it holds it up, and there's like a magnet that I guess allows it to spin. You know, I have been interested in maybe picking one of those up. At first I thought they were kind of gimmicky, like do you really need this, but it does look convenient. But I'm not really ready to invest in it yet. And I was watching Isela's video this morning from Isela's Crafting Life, and she does like, she uses a spindle to make her own yarn, and that's awesome. I'm like, wow, that is so cool. And I'm just like, so into these videos. Like, I, that's something I think I would love to eventually get into in the future, because it looks amazing. That and also yarn dyeing, like to be able to have my, make my own colors of yarn. Like, oh my gosh, how amazing is that? But her video today was really cool because she was showing how she, I guess, takes the yarn off of the spindle and she kind of created this like little setup thing where she hangs it from her desk and she uses like this little latch thing so it spins and it's easy to get off for her that way. But at, when I was looking at that, I was like, that would work so good for my yarn. Like, so I'm thinking about like, instead of like investing like in a wool genie or something, trying to like DIY one. I don't know if it would actually work, but hey, I mean, if I'm using supplies that I already have, it should work fine because I have plenty of dowel sticks and I have like those uh, PVC pipes, those white pipes that are hollow. I have quite a few of those um, and dog leashes. I have a million of those. So binder clips, I have that. So I'm going to, you know, try to give that a try and see if I can like DIY something to hold my yarn. And anyways, like even if I did have a wool genie, like I mostly use Karen one pounds and I don't, that's not going to fit. And I don't even know like if my, I don't know what the red hearts with those fit. I don't even know. I mean, of course I would love one. I want one, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to try DIYing one. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, that's just kind of been my day. Um, yeah, so I keep having to do this and just pull out my yarn, but that's eh, not the biggest deal. Normally I keep this on the floor in a little basket, but I don't have it next to me because it's filled with yarn scraps and yeah, so I'm keeping it on my desk. It's a lot easier when it's on the floor because I can pull out a lot more yarn at once. Making sure I'm not messing up. Yeah, so this stitch I love. This is like from the Critters Crochet Scrap Gan Make Along and I really like this stitch. I think it goes really, really quickly. Cause I'm already back almost to the beginning. And the one good thing about like switching between projects, um, because I have been working a lot, 
not like in the last couple of days, but I have been working on my giant granny square blanket. And now that it's getting bigger, like getting around the whole blanket takes quite a bit of time. So now that I'm back to this project, like just getting, you know, across it once, it's so much quicker than me trying to go all the way around the giant, you know, the giant granny square one. So yeah, that's what I'm working on today. I did a little embroidery this morning. Um, I'm still going to go back to that one project that I really want to embroider and it is that it's a sheep made out of yarn balls and that's just so cute. So I'm going to try give that another try and try to figure it out because I don't know I really want to do that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do that today because well, I mean it's so hot and it's not going to cool for a couple of days and when it does cool it's still going to be in the high 90s. So I, I should probably go ahead and work on that today because I mean it's going to be just as hot tomorrow so <laughs> no point in really waiting. I am really excited about this whole YouTube journey. You know YouTube was not something I ever ever thought that I would be interested in doing because I am like I'm so introverted <laughs> that I just the idea of doing YouTube for me just didn't seem like I would enjoy it and I am so so thankful so happy that Kayla you know she brought up that 100 day project and I always want to call it 100 day challenge but it's 100 day project and that's what really motivated me to give YouTube a try and I'm just so thankful I did because I've met so many just wonderful, wonderful people who already mean so, so much to me. And that's just, I don't know, that's been really amazing. And I think it's just a time in my life when I just really need some friendly words. And I think just YouTube is really giving me that. So I want to just say thank you again to everyone. It still like blows my mind that we are past 600. It was just at 600 last night. And when I got up this morning, we were past it. Like we were like at six, I want to say 609. So that's just amazing. I appreciate it so, so much. So Cody is actually being quiet. He is doing great. He's quiet because he tired himself out because he loves to play with ice cubes. I don't know what it is, but if I just take one of his little food dishes, an empty one of course, and just drop in a few ice cubes, he likes to just sit there and just spin them around in the bowl and he'll do that for like ever. Well, until they melt pretty much. And then he just sits there and splashes the water and makes a mess with it. But hey, it keeps him busy, so <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, so that's what he's been doing for a while. He was just in there like just playing with his little ice cubes and yeah. So he played with those and he went to sleep. So he is having him a nap. I'm probably going to go and wake him up because he likes to wake me up. The last two nights, he's been a noisy little boy. Last night, I didn't get up. So eventually he just stopped and just went on back to bed himself because... Once he figures out that he can get away with something, he's going to keep doing it. So I knew he was fine. So I just kind of, I had to ignore him last night because he, he was being a problem again. So hopefully tonight he won't be a noisy little guy calling out for no reason. <laughs> Even his brother was like, this is too much, I'm leaving. Because normally his brother stays in here and his sister, like, you know, they'll stay in here. But I guess they were tired, so they got up and just left. So it was just me and Cody. <laughs> but yeah, he is doing great. I forgot, I do need to call the vet because I didn't schedule his next splint change. Because when I went to the vet um, and picked him up, it was a little bit, it was a little bit uh, crowded and they were kind of a little bit busy. And I totally forgot because normally like um, I'll schedule, we'll schedule the, the next appointment while I'm there. But 
I think I was just so excited to get Cody home and get him back that I, I totally forgot to schedule his next split change. So that should be sometime coming up next week. So I'm going to give them a call and figure out what day. The last one was on a Monday and that worked out quite well. The first one went so, so well. So I'm just really praying and hoping that the rest of them go as smoothly as that first one did because no problems at all. And even the vet was like, this is so much, he, he, was, he was surprised at how easy it was because Cody is just such a kind, sweet cat. So, so lovable. Sorry, I keep forgetting that I'm filming from above too. And I keep bringing my project closer and closer to me. So you probably can't even see what's going on, but not much happening. Just me making a whole bunch of single crochets <laughs> and chains. But this is just a cool stitch, I think. I love how the stitch looks. Love how this blanket's coming out. Um, I don't know how many rows I'm actually going to do. Uh, yeah. But I do want it a little bit thicker, so try to get it even with this one. I just love how the stitch... I think this is my second favorite. I like this, like, really open one the best. I might put, like, some type of, like, a couple, like, rounds of, like, single crochet or something along the bottom edge just to give it a little bit more structure at the bottom since that's, like, the bottom. But, yeah, I love how the stitch looks. I think that's so pretty. So I think this is my favorite. This is my second favorite. I love them all, but, yeah, it's just this really open one and week four have really been my favorites. Uh, let's see how far am I. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more yarn out first. <laughs> I mean, I would definitely rather deal with just like having to stop and unwind, you know, get more yarn off than having to deal with untangling yarn. Because untangling yarn, that's the one part of crochet that I do not like doing. Like, I, I don't like it at all. Make sure I put a single, uh, yeah, put a chain. Because, yeah, I do not like to untangle yarn at all. I do not enjoy that process. So I'm curious, what is everyone else working on? I've been following along some of you guys who have channels and if you've sent me pictures of stuff, I really enjoy that. Just to see what you guys are working on. It's kind of a problem for me because when I see cute stuff, I'm like, I want to make it too. So I end up starting a lot of projects and not finishing a lot. <laughs> Just making sure that I actually, sometimes I forget to chain one and then I get all the way done with the row and when I start coming back to like put the two in between. Okay, I messed something up right here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Glad I saw that because I actually put the <laughs> single crochet in the wrong spot. But yeah, so I'm trying to focus a little bit more so I don't end up frogging quite as much. I did start working on my patchwork elephant. Now I've only done 10 squares. <laughs> I did five purple and five pink. And I'm enjoying this. It's really fun. There is a lot of ends to weave in, of course, but I posted like my first five and then I got a comment from Isela 
suggesting that I stitch them together as I go. And that was kind of one of those moments when it's like, why did I not think to do that? Like, why did I not think that? Because on these ones, these are the first five that I was making. I was sewing in, weaving in both of the ends. But then I realized I was like, when I was looking at the picture of what I was making, I was like, how, like, how am I going to decide which color thread to use to attach them? And I was just kind of thinking like, you know, that's going to be a lot more strings that I have to attach when I'm sewing it together. But once Asella said, you know, attach them as you go, then I realized if I just leave the string long, instead of weaving it in, I can just go and stitch it together as I go and then weave it in after. So for these ones, I went ahead and I left the tail so I can use this to sew them together. I'm going to get started. You know what I think I'm actually going to do instead of like stitching them together, you know, stopping one at a time to stitch them together. I think I'm going to make five of each color and I'm going to stitch the front part together. So once I have enough to do the front, I'm going to stitch that together. And then I'm going to stitch, do the same thing, make enough to do the back, stitch that together, and then make enough to do all around the sides, stitch that together. Because that was such a good idea instead of waiting all the way until the end to sew all these together because there's going to be like 90 of them. I, I don't want to sew 90 granny squares together. <laughs> at one time like yeah that's gonna feel a little bit overwhelming and I think it'll be a lot more fun to just kind of see you know how it goes and I can also figure out like if it's gonna come out okay because I'm only gonna do one like the front first and if I figure out like something go goes wrong with it or like if the color that I'm using to stitch them together doesn't look great I'll just say that's the back of the project, turn it around and do something different for the front. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm not going to wait until the end to stitch all these together because yeah, that's not going to feel great. <laughs> Make sure I'm not messing up. I think we're doing good. So I'm really hoping that my AC is not too horrible in the background. And I have been talking for almost 30 minutes. So let's just go ahead, let's get across. <laughs> I'm almost done with this row. Get some more yarn out. Yeah, like when I have this on the floor, like I'm able to pull out a lot more yarn. So it doesn't feel like I'm stopping so frequently. Just making sure I'm putting these in the right spots because you guys know I frog a lot. <laughs> and I just saw, I didn't turn off do not disturb on my phone. I usually do that because I get distracted easily, but I just saw that Kayla just uploaded a new video. Can't wait to watch that. So I am going to So just making sure. And to the end. I'm actually going to turn and just do a couple more stitches. You know, just because. <laughs> I always feel like if I don't do a couple of stitches, I always accidentally pull out the beginning and then I kind of have to figure out like, what do I need to do? Why am I doing a double crochet? That was random. I guess I was thinking of my granny squares and was like, let's do a double crochet. So I'm going to do just a couple just to get this repeat started. So it's all ready. Why am I going back to double crochet? Were those double? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes my little brain just doesn't want to function. I guess because my granny squares are like right here. And we were just talking about them. 
So my brain is like, granny square? Do some double crochet. <laughs> All right. I'm out of, let me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop here. I don't know what I did with my stitch marker. Yeah, I'll just put in a piece of yarn. Don't really need to, but whatever. All right, so this is how my Critters Crochet blanket is looking. So I just did, I think, what, two rounds or two rows? It's a little curvy. So I think it's the curvy blue frog. but it does not matter if it's curvy because it's my blanket and it feels nice. Like it feels so nice. It's so like plush feeling and soft. Um, so yeah, so I don't care if it's curvy, I'm going to still enjoy using this. So that is, yeah, I love how it looks. I cannot wait to finish this because I do want to see the new stitch and I can't, I'm telling myself I cannot watch the new video until I finish. So I'm probably going to sit down right now. I'll probably go visit with Cody a while because he should be waking up soon because he, he doesn't sleep very long at a time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably going to go bring him out in here. We're going to sit under the AC a while and I'm going to finish crocheting this up and probably while I'm crocheting this, going to watch some Llama Mama Kayla because I just saw she posted a new video and just check out all of my other yarn tube friends. I am just impressed by what you guys were able to make. Oh my gosh, the projects that you guys are working on, how creative you are, blows me away. I just love seeing it. So I have been yammering on for way too long. It's been over 30 minutes. So I am going to say thank you guys so much for all that you guys do for me, all that you guys do for Cody. I appreciate it so much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you're staying nice and cool if it's hot where you're at or <laughs> staying warm if you're in a chilly place. So I love you guys all. I hope you guys have a great, great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.